Lumiere. The future of text-to-video generation Google unveils Lumiere, a new AI-powered text-to-video generator that can create realistic videos from any text input, such as a news article, a story, a script, or a caption. Using a space-time diffusion model and a text-to-image diffusion model, it is a revolutionary technology that will transform the fields of media, entertainment, education, and communication. But what exactly is Lumiere, and how does it work? Why is it so important, and what does it mean for the future of video creation and consumption? What are the benefits and challenges of it, and what are the ethical, social, and legal implications of this technology? These are some of the questions that we will explore in this video as we dive deep into the world of it. How Lumiere Works – A Deep Dive into Google's New AI Video Creator Lumiere can create realistic videos from any text input using a space-time diffusion model and a text-to-image diffusion model. It was unveiled on January 24, 2024, and it will be available to the public later this year. A space-time diffusion model is a type of generative model that can create realistic videos by modeling the temporal and spatial dynamics of the video frames. A text-to-image diffusion model is another type of generative model that can create realistic images from text descriptions using a diffusion process that gradually refines the image quality. This AI uses both models to create realistic videos from any text input. It also uses natural language processing to generate audio and subtitles for the videos. It can also adjust the style, tone, and mood of the videos according to the text input and the user's preferences. It's a revolutionary technology that will transform the fields of media, entertainment, education, and communication. It can create engaging content, enhance learning outcomes, and facilitate communication. It can also support various languages, formats, and genres of videos. This new technology can create videos from different types of text inputs, such as news articles, stories, scripts, or captions. It can also create videos from different domains and topics, such as history, science, politics, or culture. It can also create videos with different styles and moods, such as documentary, comedy, horror, or romancy. This is a powerful and impressive technology, but it also comes with a lot of responsibility and risk, and we will discuss some of the questions and challenges that it raises and how we can deal with them. The questions and challenges. Now we will focus on the questions and challenges that it raises. We will discuss some of the ethical, social, and legal implications of it, such as the potential for misinformation, manipulation, and deception. We will also address some of the technical and creative limitations of this technology, such as the quality, diversity, and originality of the videos. We will also raise some of the philosophical and existential questions that it poses, such as the nature of reality, truth, and art. We will also invite the audience to share their opinions and perspectives on these issues. Lumiere is a powerful and impressive technology, but it also comes with a lot of responsibility and risk. But how can we trust that the videos are accurate and truthful? How can we prevent it from being used for malicious purposes, such as spreading fake news, propaganda, or deep fakes? How can we protect the rights and privacy of the people who are featured or referenced in the videos? How can we regulate and monitor the use and abuse of it, and who should be accountable for the consequences? Lumiere is also a complex and challenging technology, but it also has a lot of room for improvement and innovation. How can we ensure that the videos are high quality and diverse? How can we avoid the problems of bias, inconsistency, and redundancy in the videos? How can we enhance the creativity and originality of the videos and avoid the pitfalls of plagiarism and imitation? How can we foster the collaboration and feedback between the human and the machine? And who should have the final say in the video creation process? Lumiere is also a fascinating and intriguing technology, but it also raises a lot of questions and doubts. What does that mean for the concept and value of reality, truth, 
and art. How can we distinguish between the real and the virtual, the fact and the fiction and the original and the generated? How can we appreciate and critique the videos as artistic expressions, and what are the criteria and standards for evaluating them? How can we relate and respond to the videos as emotional and cognitive experiences, and what are the effects and impacts of them on our perception and behavior? These are some of the questions and challenges that it raises, and there are no easy or definitive answers to them. They require a lot of reflection and discussion, and they may vary depending on the context and the perspective. The Future Prospects and Directions In this section, we will focus on the future prospects and directions of Lumiere. We will speculate on how it will evolve and improve over time, and what are the possible new features and functionalities that new AI will offer. We will also explore how it will impact and influence various domains and industries, such as journalism, education, entertainment, and marketing. We will also suggest some of the best practices and guidelines for using it, such as verifying the sources, citing the references, and respecting the rights and privacy of others. We will also propose some of the research and development opportunities and challenges that Lumiere presents, such as enhancing the realism, diversity, and creativity of the videos. It's a new and emerging technology, but it also has a lot of potential and promise. How can it do it better and faster? How can it incorporate more features and functionalities, such as voice synthesis, facial expression, gesture and emotion recognition, and scene and character generation? How can it support more languages, formats, and genres, such as poetry, music, and animation? How can it adapt and customize the videos according to the user's preferences, needs, and goals? Lumiere is also a disruptive and transformative technology, but it also has a lot of opportunities and benefits. So how can it do it for different purposes and audiences? How can it impact and influence various domains and industries such as journalism, education, entertainment, and marketing? How can it enable and empower people to create and consume videos in new and innovative ways such as storytelling, learning, gaming, and advertising? How can it enhance and enrich the communication and interaction between people and machines and among people themselves? It is also a responsible and ethical technology, but it also has a lot of rules and regulations. How can it do it in a safe and respectful way? How can it follow some of the best practices and guidelines for using it, such as verifying the sources, citing the references, and respecting the rights and privacy of others? How can it comply with some of the laws and policies that govern the use and distribution of it, such as the intellectual property, the data protection, and the content moderation? How can it promote and encourage some of the values and principles that underpin the use and development of Lumiere, such as transparency, accountability, and fairness? The end of our journey, Lumiere and you. We have introduced what Lumiere is and how it works and why it is a revolutionary technology that will transform the fields of media, entertainment, education, and communication. We have also discussed some of the questions and challenges that it raises, such as the ethical, social, and legal implications and the technical and creative limitations of it. We have also speculated on some of the future prospects and directions of it, such as the possible new features and functionalities and the impact and influence on various domains and industries of Lumiere. We hope that this video has answered some of your questions and sparked some of your curiosity about it. We also hope that this video has inspired and motivated you to try and use it and to create and share your own videos with Lumiere. It is a new and exciting technology and we are looking forward to seeing what you can do with it. Thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.